My name is Stephanie Lafazanos. I'm a holistic health practitioner, a certified medical intuitive, and creator of Wild Woman Reclaimed. And I'd love to welcome you to our second video where I'll be sharing Wild Woman Power number one. But before I'd just like to share with you my belief that I've come to that as women we won't heal our emotional scars until we own our wild woman powers or our feminine powers together. And the key word here is together. And I'd like to share a short story to illustrate how I came to this realization. I was waiting for a fairy and I watched this beautiful, powerful, striking woman come into the waiting area. And suddenly I noticed uh, my unconscious reaction was to throw these angry daggers at her. In that moment, I became aware that I was actually throwing these angry daggers at my own feminine. This woman was an outer projection of my wild and powerful feminine. And it's important to come together as women because we are really powerful mirrors for each other and for our unconsciousness. And we can help each other to see where our darkness lies and where our power lies. I feel as though many women become too busy falling into the trap of getting caught up in the logical, linear, over-controlling structures of the masculine world. And in these structures, we really put in a lot of effort to try to make change, but it seems as though sometimes a lot of our effort um, doesn't come to fruition simply because of the limitations of the structures that we're in. I don't know if you feel the same way that I do, but I often feel in this society that I'm like a salmon swimming upstream against a very, very powerful force. And so another reason why it's really important for women to come together is so that we can start to identify what our wild woman powers are accept them and embrace them and own them within ourselves and then with the support of each other we can come together and start to create new paradigms that really value our essence and create a world with more peace and harmony and love a world that we all would be happy to live in I am seeing this world happening before my eyes. I see many examples of this shift and I am so grateful to be part of this shift. And so now I would love to introduce to you our wild woman power number one. The first of our wild woman powers is that of love and the heart center. It's that of self-acceptance, self-love, compassion, and cultivating the powers of the heart helps us to learn how to receive love from ourselves. And then once we're overfilled with love, we can then give it out to everybody in the world around us. So cultivating this power also makes us realize that everything that we need is inside of us. We tend to think that everything we need is on the outside, but it's just the opposite. Everything that we need is right inside. And as we start to tune in deeper into our being, the first thing that happens is we start to relax much more. Getting in touch with and cultivating the heart helps us to transform so many of the negative emotions that we have in our bodies. Um, the heart is said to be like a cauldron and that light that emanates from the heart brings a sense of self-acceptance and compassion to everything else that's going on in our being so that we're, when we're in our hearts, 
we are healing ourselves and we're healing everyone around us. Being in our hearts also helps us to heal low self-worth, low self-image, low self-confidence, and helps us to um, boost our positive qualities and see our positive qualities. The heart is uh, one of the most powerful of all the organs in its intuitive and sensing feeling capacities. And the heart has a very powerful electromagnetic field around it, just like the electromagnetic field around the earth. And when we get in touch with and into the speed of our heart, we're able to connect much more easily to the pulse of the earth, to all the people in the world, and to all beings in the world. So being in the heart really helps us to have love, respect, and honor for all life. The Dalai Lama said that in the West, we tend to focus on our mind but we need to come into our heart and cultivate the powers of the heart. So uh, with that, I leave you to be in your heart and I welcome you to join us in the next video where we'll be exploring wild woman power number two. I'll see you then.